Welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2024. Welcome to the Baba Roosh channel. Okay. Baba. So we're here with Baba. So we're going to ask her some 2024 solutions and how to deal with things. Like, what's your opinion about certain things? Sure. You open and say it? I'll do my best, but... You know, it's not applicable to everyone, just an opinion. You have to do whatever follows, whatever you believe in your heart and in your mind. Right. But, tea time. Because <laughs> we got the tea, we're about to get into the tea. I'm tea. So I'm last tea. year, I don't know if I, I let you hear the video. You know, there's been a lot of rocky relationships and stuff like that, right? So, are you familiar with Cardi B? No, in me. I think I showed you the video where she's yelling on Instagram saying, Oh, you a bit nah. <laughs> bleep. Bleep bleep. Uh-huh. You you keep embarrassing, whatever. She said what she said. Like she was upset with him, so she announced it on Instagram. Okay. Her live Instagram. She was hurt. Yeah. Apparently I guess he cheated on her. Mm, that's that does hurt. Yep, yep. Like if you were her, she's a famous rapper. Why do you think she went to the internet? She's famous. I think that a lot of people go to the internet because they don't have an outlet. It's become like more acceptable to just air your personal business in front of people. So, but um, but it's kind of sad that you can't get resolution because you're not. Speaking to the person. She's a Because <laughs> you're not speaking to the person who you really need to speak to. So maybe, is it a possibility that he wasn't available to her? Maybe she didn't have anybody close enough to share this with? So she was trying to find him on the internet. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep, beep. All right, so it's not like, this. all right, forget her. Do you feel like anybody, you think the best way to solve a problem is to go to the internet? Absolutely not. Why? Absolutely not. I mean... There are a lot of people who might benefit from it because they are on the receiving end and then they can say, wow, there's other people that are going through what I'm going through. So it becomes a platform where people can share. But does for the individual, for the individual's family and children and employers, does anybody work? Like, do the employers not say, oh, anyways, who cares? Um, that may not be always the best. That's not the best solution. Correct. Okay. Right. So, lately I've been watching the show called Insecure. As you know, Baba's heterosexual. <laughs> Don't kick me off. <laughs> Baba. <laughs> You're so annoying. <sighs> the stuff I have to deal with. Well, you're a big tea drinker because you got two it, tags. Well, I like the taste. I have one elderberry and the other one I think is sweet uh, tangerine or something like that. Mm. Mm. All right, so anyway, I was watching the show Insecure. I, 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 I'm assuming you guys seen this show. So, I guess this there's a, a few ladies out in the show. Why are you laughing? Bruh. <laughs> Are you laughing at that episode where she took the baby and she dumped it in the garbage? She said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so pretty much they're trying to figure it out. Yes. They made it seem like the dating scene was horrible for them. Like it was hard for them to get a decent guy. Well, uh -huh. one particular character. Yeah. Would you say that? Would you agree it's hard to find a decent man nowadays? No, I think there's a lot of, there's a variety of people, a variety of men, women out there. And. Sometimes it's challenging because the person who's looking may not always be true to themselves, you know, mm -hmm. and the flaws that they find in other people, they might find it in themselves, Okay, you know, um, but dating should be fun. It should be about getting to know people, building friendships, relationships. Uh, yeah, you don't have to make it as complicated as you need to. Uh, you know, I mean, some people are, but yeah, I, I do want to say that some people aren't always good. They don't always have good intentions. So when you find that, then you need to walk away. Criticizing you, mm -hmm. putting you down. Mm -hmm. Then don't stay there too long. You know, 
Well, I, I, to me, I don't right now. For me, I think dating could be very scary. Hmm. Scary. Yes. Because people. Yeah. For me, in my experience, they will pretend to be something that you want just to get with you. Mm-hmm. And then eventually they they will show their true colors. But sometimes you invest so much in this person, it's like, geez, is it hope? That they might go back to that old person that I dated in the beginning, or uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think dating can be difficult. It just made it in the show. It made it seem like these guys just wanted one thing and one thing only, which is sad. So then, but if you are a person, and like let's say you are looking for a romantic partner, right? You know, so you don't have to have sex with someone mm-hmm. to be with that person. If somebody's pressuring you into sex. Mm-hmm. Then if you give in, that was because of you. that was because of you. Maybe they, I mean maybe they manipulated you. Maybe they made you feel like desperate, or you're like oh my or god. Maybe they I don't said the to... right things to you at the moment. But but that's what I'm saying. Like if you want it, mm-hmm. then you'll do it. Mm-hmm. The outcome is what the outcome is. Mm-hmm. But if you don't want to and you're doing it because that person is pressuring you, you have to know yourself. Mm-hmm. That's the difference. So now that's a new thing. Now they're saying that the the new the men now are the new women and new women now are the new men. Elaborate. So elaborate. They're trying to while well, men are getting to the point that hey, why should I pay your bill? Mm-hmm. Why can't you pay? Why do I have to hold the door for you? You when you can hold the door for me. It's the automatic doors. Okay. I mean, how do you feel about that? Uh, do you agree? I don't know. I haven't thought about it. I still. I mean, I do believe in doing it for each other. Okay. Um, so, men have always been, historically, they have been providers. They right. have been, like, guardians of their families. Mm-hmm. So, I, I think when it comes to family, mm-hmm. you'll, you'll still find men that will protect their family, just like you'll find women will protect their family. When it comes to dating, I mean, things have... Things are changing, so you just again. I go back to my original answer. You have to decide what you want, who you are, what you're looking for. So if that's not what you're comfortable with, and the guy's like, you open your own door, you, you know, mm-hmm. then I mean, you're honestly not comfortable with it because you have a different perception, different belief system. Yeah. Then that's not the person they need to uh, be dating. Okay. So instead of trying to like trying to switch the person's point of view or their mindset into think believing what you're believing once you just find somebody that that's on the same page as you yeah okay 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 all right okay i mean it's nothing wrong with broadening broadening your horizon but if you're not okay with it if it goes against your grain against who you are right. that's what i'm talking about not like oh i'm not gonna try anything new all right so now we have this new generation now Everything's on Instagram. Everybody wants to follow the quotes on Instagram. They follow everything they see on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So I remember one time a girl told me, hey, if we are together, would you post me on Instagram? Uh-huh. I said no. She said, I can't be with anybody that wouldn't post me on Instagram. It seems like you're hiding something. I totally disagree with that. Mm-hmm. What about you? I I mean? disagree with it because mm-hmm. I mean I'm not a big social media person, but to some people that has be, they have been that has become their everything. That is your new norm. That is your life. That mm-hmm. is kind of like, hey, you're introducing me to your parents. Right. Um. I I'm, I think I'm probably gonna keep going back to the same thing. You have to know who you are mm-hmm. and what your values are mm-hmm. and what you're comfortable with. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, you can try to speak to that person and say, well, why, you know, why is Instagram so important? Mm-hmm. I mean, the, her response in this case was because you're hiding me or oh, I think you're hiding me. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Maybe this person had a bad experience in the past. Personally, no, I don't think that social media defines a relationship. It should not. But some people allow it to. It's, it's a new norm. It is a new norm. All right. So. All right, now that, okay, you're in a relationship, right? Is it okay for your significant other 
let's say you, you guys video call, right? Mm -hmm. And he just starts playing with himself as to if you were single and you're trying to get to know a guy and he starts playing with himself. How do you feel about that? That, that, that you know, people tend to do a little bit too much <laughs> on, on the internet or a voice call or anything. I, I, I could be wrong, but I think a lot of people are insecure. That, that mirror, that glass, mm -hmm. that distance mm -hmm. gives people that power to feel like I can do whatever I want and mm -hmm. if not, I can just turn it off and I can just close it. Mm -hmm. um, there's no accountability for it. Mm -hmm. So the closer we are becoming, we're getting with the internet, the further we are away from, from people, from real feelings, from, from excuse me, um, from I, morals, mm -hmm. we're pulling away from it. Do I, if a person pulls out their vagina or their penis mm -hmm. on on video, and I'm, that's not what I want, then no, I'm not comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I but, do have the opportunity to. But as to, if, let's say, if you're single and then you're trying to get to know somebody, or as to your husband, would you feel more comfortable with, with your husband doing it, or you getting to know somebody? What's the difference? I once well. A husband, wife, mm -hmm. you've made a commitment to each other, mm -hmm. so you already are in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So you're dating someone, so if you have to show your pee pee and your poop pee to every single person that you're dating. Mm -hmm. What isn't anything uh -huh. sacred? Like, what is what is the point of dating? What is, what are you trying to accomplish? Mm -hmm. Trying to accomplish sex? Are you trying to accomplish like a, a long term relationship? trying to get um somebody with a nice house and money like like what are you what is your goal what, what advice do you give people like ladies out there they feel like hey i can't find the right man i can't find the right girl whatever 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 you prefer mm -hmm. what do you think of those people that you feel like they can't never find that person that person is out there mm -hmm. they are there mm -hmm. but again you have to know who you are what are you looking for are you conforming just so that you can be with someone or do you truly, are you truly gothic? Or are you truly like a social drinker? Like who, know who you are and then find somebody with a similar, with a similar goals. Yes, Absolutely. You, but yes, you can find that person. You can find multiple people. I think sometimes, I think a lot of people, now all, a, a lot of people tend to be shallow. Yes. And superficial because a lot of times it, what they're looking for could be right in front of their face and they might go past that person or oh, he's too short or she's too fat or mm -hmm. but she's everything that you want in a, in a female he's everything that you want okay he's not the standards of a man that you mm -hmm. like the, the standard height that you would date six feet he's probably five eight but he's great the thing the, the thing that's so special about the human race is that we don't have to only rely on sense on physicality mm -hmm. to make a determination okay. we can communicate uh -huh. we can we can connect emotionally spiritually mentally like so we have the power to elevate some of us are just very basic and only physical I, I know I said this before in the past but sometimes we, we get stuck on social media and these images burn into our brains and we kind of become zombie like mm -hmm. and we would never even question like why do I think this person with pink eyes is beautiful mm -hmm. and not the person with the purple eyes, you know? So it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, I'm done, that's what you got. Do you want another tissue on the head? No. <laughs> and I, and landed perfectly on top of my head. What's is wrong with it? Yeah. All right, so... All right, that's fine. So I feel like, for me... So what I asked you... What was the question I just asked you? I just forgot. You said... How big is my penis? Anyway. Can they find the person they're looking for? Is that possible? Yeah, I mean, it is possible. I just feel like sometimes we get caught up with physical appearance. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes you're you're passing, you're bypassing. I'm not saying be desperate. Of course, keep your standards. Mm -hmm. But it's certain things that you can't overlook. Okay, I want my husband to have a size 12 shoe. He's only a size 10. Like, people will be so picky to the point that they will, you know, scoot that low. If you're, look, if you're looking for eye candy, then yes. Be shallow, be superficial. If you're looking for the depths of love, 
then mm. none, none of that's gonna matter. That's a, you know that's a good question. Do you think shallow people are truly happy? That's that's a deep question. Um, if you're shallow, you never reach down deep into the surface. You don't have deep thoughts. You don't. You're not. Mm. You don't have like deep feelings. So deep thoughts, son. Deep thoughts. <laughs> so maybe. Maybe they can be cont as content as a shallow person can be. Can you? I feel like I don't think so. Go ahead. I feel. Um, like, all right. So let's say I'm with somebody because they're beautiful, but there's no communication. Mm -hmm. We don't have anything. We have nothing in common. But I like how the way you look. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I'm gonna feel empty inside. Mm. But, but because you're not shallow, right? But a shallow person. A shallow person. Sometimes they be like, oh, you know. They're never content. They always want more. I mean, if you know this, I don't know if you ever had a conversation with a shallow person. I have, and there's no respect. There's no boundaries in their relationship sometimes. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, I'm with this person. I'm with her because she's beautiful. I'm with him because he looks good and he or gives me good sex. But you're missing certain things to the point that you can't even have a, a solid conversation with him or her. That you need to go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think there's like holes in that situation. You don't agree? No, I mean, they, no, they, they could be. They, they could, could be. be, yeah. All right, so because certain things are not fulfilling. So there's a there's a there's a thing going floating around. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart is suing a girl, a hostess. I think I believe her name is Tasha K. He she's pretty much she interviewed his assistant, uh, personal manager. That he fired, I don't know. She she does she no longer works for Kevin. Exposing the fact that he has two women pregnant. Oh my. Healthy sperm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so now Kevin Hart is upset, so he's suing Tasha K. And is this a true story? I don't know if it's a true story, but you know, this is not the first time he cheated on her. He has a history of cheating on his first wife mm -hmm. with the wife that he has now. And now he cheated on the wife that he has now with someone else, and they, you know, they they were trying to get money out of him, or they were going to leave the tape. So he just told her mm -hmm. the truth. And now his ex personal assistant, whatever she is, uh, the assistant manager, is, is exposing him. Okay. Stating that he had two, he's sleeping with the flight attendant and he got her pregnant. He's sleeping with another girl in the office and he got her pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> the flight attendant have sex on the plane? Probably he has his own private plane. Why not? Ah. Uh, <laughs> the freak. I mean, like. Do you feel like he's right to sue? Yeah. Um, if they have like an agreement, there there is a confidentiality agreement. Mm -hmm. But he's suing the lady that's that actually interviewed the girl. Oh, oh, oh! So she has no our relationship, business relationship with him. No. So he's suing her. I think. Hmm, I think that's to send a message to. Hmm, I don't think so. You don't have a you don't have a business relationship with this person, so why are you suing them? They're holding an interview mm -hmm. with someone that so, used to work with you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense. Hmm, okay. I just feel like I believe he felt exposed. Mm -hmm. He's like you introduced my ex manager assistant to your platform to, to spread my business, whether it's true or not. Yeah. And if it wasn't true, what do you care? Well, lies hurt. Um, again, you got to think that about... That comes the, with the territory of being famous, right? Mm. Yeah, but still, it hurts, especially you have family. Mm -hmm. um, and people become famous for different reasons. They don't necessarily want to be exposed. Mm -hmm. But you do... You are held at a higher... Um, not a higher standard... But people are more watchful of what you're doing. So you can, I don't know. I don't, I what don't advice want to would you get a, a woman that gets cheated on repeatedly? Get your body checked to make sure that you're healthy, number one. What? Oh, like STDs? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that's your best advice? Go no, to no, the doctor? No. no, that's not. And also... Ask yourself, who am I, and is this what I want? So a lot of women and a lot of men out there have, sometimes they struggle with self-esteem. Of course, absolutely. 
struggle is. Tea time. So, tea time. My tea is done. They struggle with self-esteem. Like, what encouragement would you give a person that's struggling with themselves? They don't get, get no advice from anybody. They're just dealing with it. Check your vagina <coughs> and your pee-pee. <coughs> Make sure you're healthy down there. Because also that can cause depression. Um, but if you don't have anybody to speak to, mm. write it out. But I would encourage people to find somebody that they can trust, that one person. I wouldn't necessarily say, you know, reach out to social media because you're not getting, you're not always getting healthy feedback. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get those positive responses. Yeah. I mean, but, would you encourage them to leave the situation? Would you? If they're in a bad relationship? Yes. You're getting cheated on constantly. Would you yeah. Know? If that makes you feel bad. And your private is starting to itch and smell, then yes, something's happening. <laughs> Why are you looking at that? <laughs> yes, get help. Get help. You weren't born to to suffer. You were not born with this person. You were born by yourself into the parents who love you. Most of us were lucky, mm -hmm. or a, a family member that loved us. You were meant to be loved and to be happy. Mm -hmm. Go back to your happy point. And that person, you weren't born with them. Exactly. People tend to stay in relationships just because they want to be in a relationship. A lot of times people stay in situations for the oddest reasons. Stability. Mm -hmm. Loneliness. Yeah. We have kids together. Mm. Oh, I've been with you at least 15 years. I might as well stick it through with you. I'm older now. Who's going to want me? A lot of people want older people. More mature. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. How do you feel about these grown men having sex with minors? Minors? With their brains are still developing? Like, how do you feel about a 30-year-old man or a 30-year-old woman dating a 16-year-old girl or boy? Well, their brains are still developing. Who are you referring mm. to? The child, the child, the 16 year old, your, your brain is still developing. Mm. You're still, <clears throat> I know a lot of people are forced to grow up quickly. Like mom's calling. But you're still children. Mm. But you're still children. Right. So, and then it's kind of amazing if you are the age 30 and you have a lot in common with a 16 year old. Mm. That's, that's very telling. Mm. Um, but no, I think children should be children. And again, I know people want to grow up fast. They have these um, urges. Mm -hmm. After a certain age, to me, my personal age was 25. After 25, you're an adult. Mm -hmm. You're still growing, still learning. Mm -hmm. But at least mentally and physically, you have the opportunity to have been a child. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, you have a brain. And I mean, there's a lot of with, with little kids and... Young girls, young guys, they feel like, hey, I need to be with somebody older and more mature. You might think you're mature for your age. You probably are. Trust me. Deal with somebody your own age. This person has experience. They have, how can I say this? They have experience. They have done things that you haven't done yet. And they're going to rob, they're going to take that away from you. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot to learn. You have a lot to grow. And you have to look at it this way. Why is this 25 or 30 year old something age person is attracted to me? I'm yeah. still in high school. You have nothing to offer. You're in high school. You don't have a job. You don't have the money. Mm -hmm. And you need to be here. You need to actually, yeah, you really have to ask yourself that question. Why are they into you? Yeah. You know, be a kid. Enjoy your, your childhood. Be a teenager. You're not going to find the same exact person like yourself. There's always, you could always introduce them to new things. You know? Yeah. But anyway, we're going to wrap up this video. Thank you for Baba. Baba. Tea Baba. Tea. For coming to the channel and let me ask you a little com uncomfortable yeah, question. Tea? There's no tea in here. It's for show. I'm supposed to pour it anyway. Anyway, I hope you like, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. And leave your comments down below. If you have any questions, you know, leave it down below. She'll answer it. Not me. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs>